Hello guys, this is Gaurav Gauri and today we are going to talk about spatial and non-spatial data. Guys, this video is going to be useful for the students of Geoinformatics, Remote Sensing and for Cartography as well. So guys, here we go. And uh, it is a very brief lecture. So you are going to get a lot in a very little. So guys, here we go. Spatial versus non-spatial data. Firstly, we will begin with spatial data. Spatial data. Data that define a location. These are in the form of graphic primitives that are usually either points, lines, polygons or pixels. Spatial data includes location, shape, size and orientation. For example, consider a particular, particular square, its center, the intersection of its diagonals, specifies its location. Its shape is a square. The length of one of its sides specifies its size. The angle its diagonals make with, say, the x-axis specifies its orientation. Spatial data includes spatial relationships. For example, the arrangement of 10 bowling pins is spatial data. Now, non-spatial data. Data that relate to a specific, precisely defined location the data are often statistical, but may be the text, image, or multimedia. These are linked in the GIS, Geoinformatics, Geoinformatic Information System, to spatial data that define the location. Non-spatial data, also called it is also called attribute or char characteristic data is that information which is independent of all geometric consideration. For example, a person's height, mass and age are non-spatial data because they are independent of the person's location. It's interesting to note that while mass is non-spatial data, weight is spatial data in the sense that something's weight is very much depend on its location. You must have learned about the difference in between capital G and small g, the gravity. So you can understand the, what is the difference in between weight and mass. It is possible to ignore the distinction between spatial and non-spatial data. However, there are fundamental differences between them. First one, spatial data are generally multidimensional and auto-correlated. Non-spatial data are generally one-dimensional and independent. These distinctions put spatial and non-spatial data into different philosophical camps with far-reaching implications for conceptual processing and storage issues. For example, Sorting is perhaps the most common and important on spatial data processing function that is performed. It is not obvious how to even sort location data such that all points end up nearby their nearest neighbors. So guys, here I am done. So we have tried to just sum up the spatial data and non-spatial data in a very little amount of readable things so i do believe that you have learned something from this video so if like if you like our channel then please subscribe it and stay connected stay tuned and uh, make the learning a bit more better have a good day bye and all the best